This is part of a pedestal fan. I've been taking it apart and cleaning it. There's a lot of dust in the motor. The thing that was really bad about it was this shaft was totally... I could barely turn it. I couldn't presumably put it in or out. It's got a little end play now, in and out. But I could barely turn it. I was kind of shocked at how gummed up it was. So I've loosened up the, these four bolts to give it a little more leeway. So I can go back and forth in the shaft, get it moving. I went with a uh, contact cleaner. Not like a W40 or something, but a contact cleaner to try to strip all the gunk out of the bearings. So now I'm going to tighten up these four screws that I loosened to give, give myself a little more play. And um, I've pretty well cleaned these bearings out. There's no lube in them at all right now. But they're freed up pretty well. Now it's time to get some lube in there. And I disassembled the thing pretty thoroughly, a lot more than usual. Took this plate off so I could get into the motor, get all the dust out of it, cleaned out the little nacelle, cleaned all the pieces, blades, housing, everything. So now I've got the two halves tightened back up. I've got the shaft and bearings pretty well cleaned up. So now it's just a choice of what I put in there. So here's my old can of 3-in-1. This can's probably 30, 40 years old. <laughs> I had a boss back then who looked at me like I was a crazy man to try to use his stuff. This is not a very good grade of oil, he said, for gumming up and stuff like that. It's SAE 20, which is pretty thick, and um, these oils are formulated not to gum up too readily. They're, you know, they don't want to evaporate off the lighter elements, gum up, which is what he said this stuff would do. <laughs> so, what do I use nowadays? Very thin, very light, full synthetic, it's not going to evaporate in gum. Good old Valvoline Synthetic. Built for cars, but it'll work fine for electric motors. And it won't evaporate off too quickly, being synthetic and being light. So this is exactly what I need. I need a lighter oil, not something that's 20 all the time, something that'll be light when it needs to be light. So I'll get a little bit of the dregs. This is empty, obviously. A little bit of the dregs on a Q-tip and apply it sparingly to both bearings and uh, twist the shaft back and forth, in and out, back and forth, round and round until it feels good and lubed. Then I can start putting it back together. And I've been moving the shaft in and out, turning it with the shaft fully pulled out, pushing it in, sticking it inside. And doing the same deal. Now this bearing is pretty well lubed. Do the same thing to the one in back to the extent that I can. Keeping the shaft pulled out so I can get space in that bearing, but pushing it in and getting it again to well, what an improvement. I was barely able to turn this shaft. Now it feels nice and luby. And I haven't put gobs of oil in this thing, just what the Q-tip can carry. And I didn't use WD or something like that to thin it out. I used contact cleaner until the uh, so there is still pretty black, but basically trying to get all the bearings clean with contact cleaner. And then um, once they're totally dry and clean, putting some high quality oil in there. And this automotive oil seems like the wrong choice, but it's not going to evaporate very quickly. It's meant to take heat. All in all, it's a good choice for this. So, time to find all the pieces. This screw sits right in the back here. It's different than the other two screws I got aside here. 
Clint will slip this on, get it over the shafts, and get this uh, back screw in. Backwards threads. And we're done. Runs like a dream. Many hours on this fan, many more hours. Probably looped better than it was new. Actually, so she's running great, probably better than it ever did, probably better oil than it ever had, and don't use this old stuff. This can's probably 30 years old. Or better. <laughs> the neighbors are the neighbors are cutting the lawn again too early in the morning. Eating everything inside. Oh, I guess they keep my lawn mode for me. It's like the third day in a row. They hardly even fear me anymore unless I start making noise and running at them.